Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another tutorial. We are working on this cool looking blade and so far we've created the handle, some of the support things and the blade itself. So next we're going to continue on building the support, this other blade and then start adding the details. So it's an exciting tutorial so let's go ahead and get started. So this part is basically kind of, it looks like it's thinner. So we're going to create a square and we're going to start down here, starting to get into the little details here. Don't forget to save. Cool. Okay. So same story. We're going to be moving a lot of vertices around and we're just going to be filling in the space with these vertices. Let me take a look at the thickness here. Let's go to object mode. I probably want to make it a little thicker. All right, so like before, let's grab a face, deselect, extrude, build, rotate if we need to, scale, just like we did before. This is a similar method that we use for um, creating a car, creating a human. It's all very similar. We just look for the reference that we need. Oops, undo. Make sure you grab that face, deselect the ones you don't need, control E. So we kind of do the same me method, which is scale, extrude. Okay, for this one, I'm actually going to go straight across like this. Right. So instead of trying to go up, I'm just going to bring it across and then I'm going to grab this face, deselect it, grab this face. Hold on, let me make sure I make I grab faces here, face, select, deselect, control E, and lift. Control E. Grab the vertice and maybe bring this one here again. Face, deselect, control E, lift, control E, let's get that curve. Control E, up. Control E again, up, rotate, control E again. You guys should be getting the hint here. E, up. We can always add more edges. Right now I'm just trying to get the shape. I'm going to start rotating. This one has a lot more, when it starts to become more curved, has more curves, that's when we need to start um, adding more mesh. E, control E is the magic shortcut in this tutorial, other than undo. I'm a big fan of undo. If you guys have watched my tutorials before, you know my tool, my favorite tool is control Z, which is undo. Okay, let's grab some vertices, bring this down, bring this up. And for this one, we're going to need a, um, probably one red smack in the center. So shift, right click, insert edge, and then I can move this here. Oops, undo, see, use it all the time. Okay, let's get this curvature going here. Um, I might want to insert more edges. So again, shift, right click here just to get the nice turn. Click on the letter G if you want to reuse that tool. G is the last tool that you use, which is in my case was create uh, insert edge loop tool. Don't forget to grab any vertices that you feel need a little nudge. And if you need to, I would probably suggest that you tweak this to fit whatever you need. So for example, I can do this. OK, 
can I follow that glow? This isn't really 100% necessary. If you are going to texture this, I would probably would suggest you probably don't need it, but if you're gonna model that nook, then you might wanna add those edges. And the rest are just designs, so I'm leaving it at that. Cool. All right, let's take a look at it. It's looking a little thick, so I'm going to make it thinner. Probably even more thinner. There we go. Thinking about this too. I think this is really thick. So I'm going to actually let's just scale it. It's kind of fun. So it looks like this is the same piece all the way along. So I think, whoa, I think I'll go ahead and just kind of follow this edge and then go from there. So again, let's create a cube. I'm going to snap it over here, scale it, rotate it, place it. Oof, the closer we get to that pixel. All right, let's make it small. Let's fit this space here. Uh, let me check the scale. I can always fix the scale. Let me zoom in here. Might as well just nudge it back into place. That looks okay. Actually, I think now that I'm looking at this design, this is actually inside the mesh. So I'm just going to drive that in here. So it's going to be inside right here. So that's going to look good. Cool. Uh, all right. Face. Deselect anything you don't need. Control E. Rotate this a little bit because it's a curve. Control E again. We're going to be going around and around. Make sure it's big enough to go inside the mesh. Again, make sure you grab the right face. Deselect anything you don't need. Control E. Control E. If you see a vertice that needs a little nudge, then I would go ahead and grab that now. Otherwise, you might forget. <laughs> All right, let's grab that face again. Control E. All right, getting to the cool details here. Control E. Scale or just fix the vertice. Control E. I'm going to go across. Might need to nudge a couple of things. Let me go into object mode, shift right click, insert edge. I might add, need to add an edge here. And I could always just move these around. So let me just scoot these down a little bit. This is here, and this can go here. And since this is an arc, I might as well start developing that. Cool. Faces. Extrude. Maybe flatten it out. Scale. Lift. Just a little extrude so I can get that shape. Tiny little extrude so that I can extrude again and I can go up. Again, if you want to scale it flat, you might want to uniformly scale it. 
control E. Grab those vertices. Go back to face, control E. Maybe that was too sharp, too fast. Control E. Cool. Let's see what we got here. Cool. Control E again, lift. Control E again, start scaling. Lift, scale, getting thinner. Supporting that crazy looking blade on the other side. And getting close to the top. Now, it's not clear what the if this whole thing is this thick and then it gets thinner, or if it's thick up here. I would imagine that it starts to get thinner as it goes to the top. So what I'm going to do is just kind of scale a little bit, deselect, sca oops, scale a little bit, deselect, scale, deselect, scale, deselect, scale, deselect again, and then finally, there you go. So then we get like a gradual transition. And let's go to this view. I'm going to turn on occlusion in hopes that, oh, didn't help at all. All right, let's grab some. Okay, so it's not, look, it's not very aligned. So let's align. Go here, I'll move this here. go cool can you hear the fantasy music playing as we uh, as we take a look at this I can hear it <laughs> it's cool okay um let's see don't forget to save all right the mighty but smaller blade Whoops, did I move this? Somehow moved it. Okay, it's shading x-ray. Let's turn that off. All right, no problem. There we go. Shading x-ray. Uh, okay, I'm going to select these so this doesn't happen again. I'm just going to lock it so it I can't really move it which will solve that problem. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing we did before. Uh, I'm gonna grab a plane, gonna rotate it, change it to 90 degrees. Uh, the polyplane's gonna be one. And let's see. Scale. And grab some vertices so we can get the shape started. We're gonna grab an edge, extrude. Work with what actually works, which is this method, which is scale, extrude, scale, extrude. Scale, translate, extrude, rotate if you need it. Now this one, actually now that I'm thinking about it, this edge should be inside the other one, right? Because it supports it. So let's make sure that actually is in there. Cool. Extrude. I feel like I need some sort of fantasy music going on right now because the only thing I hear myself is say the same thing over and over again. Extrude. Move. Extrude. Scale. Extrude. It's kind of boring. So sorry about that, but hopefully this is informational so that, that you guys can get something out of it. Lift. Scale move 
someone should make a rap song for me. That'd be really neat. Or maybe techno. That'd be cool. Just saying the same thing. Rinse and repeat. Scale extrude. Is that ridiculous? <laughs> Let me know. All right. Um, all right, cool. Shift right click, insert edge. Let's give ourselves some sort of thickness here. And because our geometry is so well done, we are good. Um, all right, let's shift, double click. And I think this time I'm gonna just lift and rotate. Something simple. So it's not perfectly aligned. All right. Let's see if I can get this thing to mirror. Um, snap. It's based on the orient. So hold down D, hold down V, middle mouse and snap it. We'll see if I could get this to work. Didn't work last time. But you can't help but try, try, try again. Mirror. Let's try Z. Okay. Interesting. The mer okay, I changed my merge threshold to 0 0.02. So I know that these guys are really close. All right, so this is very thick out here. Yikes. Oops, let's grab these edges and I'm going to end these edges. Might as well, I'm just gonna scale it in. And I'm starting to think this was too thin, so now I'm going to scale this one, actually both of these guys up. And then I am going to grab these edges, deselect the ones at the top. Deselect the ones at the bottom. And then I am going to bridge. So that brings them together. Then I'm gonna go in here and see what happens if I click bridge. Oh, that worked, great. And then we'll go all the way to the bottom and do the same. That looks like it worked. Whoops, okay. Snap that orient. I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to scale it. Whoa, maybe delete the history. There we go. Needs to act predictably. I'm going to grab this edge and bring it in. I'm going to take this edge and bring it out a little bit. Let's add a light physical sky and let's see what that looks like so far. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Getting this cool looking blade going. Um, I still have some other details I need to add, which is like a basic cylinder right here and one little circle right there and a couple of other things. But I would say that this is getting really close to being done, at least for the foundations. Uh, the next tutorial is going to be about how to create those details that are here. I'm going to show you guys a fun little tool called the quad draw. So I will be right back to show you the cool quad draw tool to create awesome details on your blade. So uh, let me know what you guys think by leaving a comment below. Also, don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com where you guys can find three videos, free tutorials, free eBooks, and so much more for you guys. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. All right, guys, I will see you in the next tutorial.